si Calvante regarding it. So, the memo uh, that was released, uh, that was created on uh, July 1st, 2020, okay, ito po yan. This is directed to all regional directors, all assistant regional directors, and all concerned officials and employees of the LTO. The subject is the deferment of the implementing rules and regulations or IRR of RA-11235 or the Motorcycle Crime Prevention Act, dated July 1, 2020. It says, and I quote, In view of the non-availability of the motorcycle plates and decals compounded by the continuing health crisis brought about by the COVID-19 pandemic, necessitating the imposition of quarantine measures throughout the country resulting in the limited operational capacity of our offices the previous instruction to defer until further notice the implementation of the IRR's plate provisions or those which relate to the requirement of motorcycles to have number plates at the front and rear is hereby uh, formalized ang ibig sabihin po niyan, any provision that talks about the plate or yung kawalan ng plate or any violation on the plate, wala hong implementation sa part na yan. Walang mapepenalize, walang huhulihin kasi unang-una, hindi pa naman ho nila na i-release yung mga plaka sa atin. Pangalawa, hindi pa ho nila uh, natatapos yung paggawa nito. So, meaning, may problema pa sa pagpasok, sa supply, pero umaandar na ho yung manufacture ng mga plaka natin. So, until such time na naibigay na yung plaka, that's the only time na mai-implement na nila yung provisions regarding dun sa plaka mismo or sa decal sa harap. Okay, it doesn't mean na the law is suspended. Hindi po ginamit sa memo na to ang word na suspension. The law is not suspended. Okay? So this first paragraph only talks about the plates. It's not yet available, so hindi pa sila manghuhuli o wala pang ipepenalize sa kawalan ng plaka, okay? Sa likod at decal sa harap. Pero, make sure na hanggat wala yan, guys, dapat meron kayong uh, temporary plate sa inyong mga motor. Huwag kayong magpapagawa ng decal o nung bagong plate size kahit kanino. LTO lang ang pwedeng magbigay niyan sa inyo. Okay? So, let's move on to the second paragraph. Further, it is also directed that the periods in the IRR for the mandatory updating of records, specifically, 1. The reporting of the sale or disposition by the owner of a motorcycle to the LTO within 3 days upon such sale or disposition, and 2. The registration by the new owner of the new motorcycle within 5 days from acquisition of ownership shall be extended for a period of 60 days from this issuance. Uulitin ko yung part na yun. Shall be extended for a period of 60 days from this issuance. To allow the owners ample time to process their transactions while observing the social distancing and health and sanitary protocols for strict and uh, for guidance and strict compliance. Ang ibig po sabihin nito is Doon sa part na kailangan kayong magpa-change ownership kung nakabili kayo ng motor na pre-owned, okay? Yung hindi sa inyo mismo nakapangalan or hindi nakapangalan sa kamag-anak, sa asawa, sa ka-live-in, sa kaibigan na nagpapagamit sa ng motor, sa opisina na pinapasukan mo or pinagtatrabahuan mo, or maski sa kliyente na nagpapagawa sa iyo, for example, ng motor. Yun lang kasi yung exemption. Kapag may binili ka ng motor from a different party at ikaw na ang bagong may-ari na ito, you are obligated by law to transfer ownership to yourself. 
this law will penalize you 20,000 to 50,000 or makukulong ka or both. Kung patuloy kang gagamit ng isang sasakyan na nabili mo at minintain mo yung ownership dun sa pinagbilan mo. Alright? So, yun ho yung tatamaan yan. So, ano ibig sabihin ng extension na ito? So, from issuance, which is July 1st, in, on black and white, July 1st kasi nilagay na date dito sa letter or sa memo. So, from July 1, kung dyan tayo magsisimula ng bilang, ang deadline na 60 days is September 1. After September 1, hindi na ho natin masasabi kung magsisimula na sila sa kanilang pagpapatupad ng dapat sa yun na nakapangalan or baka ma-penalize ka ng 20 to 50,000 or kulong or both. Alright? Uulitin ko po, ang exempted lang dito ay kung sa asawa mo nakapangalan, sa kapatid mo, sa anak mo, sa pagulang mo, Anyone that you're related to or is close to you, live-in, girlfriend, partner, kaibigan, uh, pinapasukan mong opisina, or uh, kliyente mo sa iyong motorcycle shop. Uh, kasi sometimes, di ba, nagtetesting tayo ng motor. But yung 60 days na to can be interpreted in two different ways. One, date sa papel. Two, kung kailan ito pinost ng LTO, sa kanilang page. So, pinost ito ng July 3. Okay? Pero sinulat ito ng July 1. Okay. So, regarding the letter, alright, this is based on uh, the LTO's initiative. Wala pong taong nag-influence nito. Wala pong humingi nito. Matagal na po nila itong pinag-uusapan. Pero, kailangan kasi yan may approval from the department that is above LTO, which is DOTR. Hindi pwede na gumawa ng issuance or memorandum ang LTO nang hindi ito inaaprubahan ng DOTR. So that's why it only came out now. But in any case po, okay, no one influenced this. Sila mismo sa LTO ang nakaisip po nito. Alright? So, not in, not even us. Not even ROTP, not even MRO na laging nakikipag-usap sa LTO can claim okay, influence or ownership of this one. Alright? This is all on LTO. Ginawa po nila ito kasi dahil nga sa kalagayan natin sa COVID. Ang LTO LTO po ay tagapagpatupad lang ho ng batas. Hindi po sila ang gumagawa ng batas. So, in any case, they gave us an extension. Alright? Uh, may oras pa tayo hanggang September 1 or September 3. Whatever the date would be or should be. Pero mas maganda ng isipin nyo na lang na ang deadline natin is 60 days mismo from the date on this letter which is September 1. So, dapat by that time na asikaso na natin yung change of ownership natin. Okay? I hope that is very clear to everyone. And kung may katanungan po kayo sa Motorcycle Rights Organization Group, nakapost po doon uh, sa announcement at nakapin pa yung frequently asked questions regarding RA11235. All questions have been answered and meron pa doon guide Kung papano kayo magpapachange ownership, may links po doon. Make sure to check it out. Again, it is in Motorcycle Rights Organization. Or if you want, you can look at my wall. Pero medyo natabunan na po kasi yung post ko na yan. Sa MRO, mas madali siyang hanapin kasi pag enter mo ng group ng MRO, makikita mo na kaagad yun sa announcement, nakapin pa siya yung FAQ. So, yun na po yung clarification sa memo na to. I hope it serves you well. I hope it helps you. And para do sa mga natatakot at kinakabahan na baka maghuli na, okay, we still have until September 1st before anything happens. Okay, hopefully, sana madagdagan pa kung sakasakaling kukulangin pa rin yung ibang tao. Pero wag ho kayo mag-alala. 
once na masimulan niyo yung process, may binibigay naman ho sa inyo eh na 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 i-file niyo na. So kung hindi niyo pa to na gag na natatapos, file niyo pa lang uh, basta't na i-file niyo na. Yun na, nasimulan niyo na yung process. Huwag na ho kayong mag-alala. Yan ho yung assurance na binigay sa amin ng LTO mismo. But I cannot speak for the enforcement na magpapatupad ng batas na ito. Hindi lang kasi LTO ang magpapatupad nito. Meron pa hong iba. Alright? So I hope I have clarified everything to you guys. And uh, you may share this video para malinawan po ang lahat ng riders na may concern pagdating sa change of ownership. Muli ako po si Jobert Bolaños na Motorcycle Rights Organization and Riders of the Philippines. Nagpapasalamat po sa inyong lahat at bumabati sa lahat ng ride safe. Mag-iingat po kayo palagi sa daan. Maraming salamat po.